For over 100 years, most causes of paint failures have been studied, humidity, temperature, and paint embrittlement. The symptoms were obvious, cracking, delaminating, and paint loss. But the causes were not. Conservation workers gradually formed concepts as to the causes of cracking and paint loss of old paintings. The paint industry studied failures in paint films. And artists developed their own ideas, but remained largely unaware of the research from both the conservation community and the coatings industry. In this course, we will learn the primary causes of paint failures, which helps us to understand how to build paintings that last. The primary causes of paint failures are mechanical, chemical, and biological. Of the three, the predominant type of paint failure is mechanical. Cracked, cupped, and blistered paint attest to the presence of considerable mechanical forces in paintings. Now, until recently, it was believed that the movements of the canvas or panel alone were the primary cause of paint cracking and deterioration. This led earlier investigators to concentrate on the behavior of the support. Their studies of the reaction of the painting supports to changes in the environment made it possible to understand the behavior of paintings. What researchers found is the paint film and its support become a composite structure in which all components interact with one another. Paint on flexible supports behave in a completely different manner to that on rigid supports. Thus, a painting might crack on one type of support, but not on another. This can be illustrated in the painting entitled Bouquet of Tulips, Roses, and an Opium Poppy by the Flemish-born painter Gerard von Spondock. This oil painting on marble, completed in about 1800, shows almost no effects of aging. Had von Spondock chose canvas as the support for this painting, its condition would be very different today. We can liken the composite structure of painting to that of a house. Walls and roof are built of flexible materials over a properly made foundation built of stronger, more rigid materials. And this, in turn, is built on solid ground. However, when the ground is not firm, we well know what can happen during an earthquake. Paintings are not simply painted surfaces, but are complex three-dimensional structures that behave as a composite in which each component influences each other. Materials respond to changes in the environment. Each part of a painting responds differently to these changes. The differences in responses between each component cause mechanical stress in the paint layers. Changes in the environment include temperature and humidity. Most materials used by artists are hygroscopic, meaning that they absorb water from the atmosphere. As they absorb and release moisture in response to changes, the materials expand and contract differently, causing mechanical stress. It is the constant cycling of relative humidity that leads to the most damage in paintings. In the next lesson, we will discuss how changes in the environment cause paintings to crack, blister, and cup ultimately leading to paint delamination and loss.